to ask for what you want and don't settle for what's available or what you think you can get. The hardest part about change is not making the same choice as you did the day before, period. And the moment you decide to make a different choice, get ready because it's going to feel uncomfortable. It's going to feel unfamiliar. It, there's going to be some uncertainty. You don't have to be broke. You don't have to struggle. You don't have to be sad and sorry. You don't have to take care of everybody just because you've always done it. Be willing to do a new thing and a new way. And sometimes you're going to have to piss people off in the process. Sometimes. Because people will hold you to your limitations. They will hold you to what they believe to be true about you. Do not believe that because it hasn't happened, it won't happen. Renew, recharge your vision. And do not be tricked into thinking that because it's always happened, it has to continue to happen. Do not accept the unacceptable. Do not accommodate and tolerate what doesn't honor you. Whoever I am, you're going to see me. You're going to see me for who I am. Because I need to change who I'm not. I call myself fat. Because I was fat. And people don't want to do that. They want to say, oh, don't call yourself fat. Don't call yourself dumb. If you're not real and raw with who the f you are, nothing's going to change. In this nice new world that we live in, we want to hear, you're just a little big. No, man, you might be fat. And it's okay to hear that from yourself and from everybody else. So that's where it started at. And it's raw. It, it gets ugly sometimes at me in that mirror. But I'm also proud of myself to be able to tell myself that and then fix what's in that mirror. That you have to ask for what you want and do not settle for something because it's all you think you can have or because it's what's available. Whatever it is that made me nauseous and sick to my stomach, it made me hurt, there's no ending. And that's the person I listen to. That's the person who's gained knowledge. You gain knowledge through suffering. And on the other end of suffering is a world that very few, very few have ever seen. It's a beautiful world because that's where you find yourself. Come on now. You know who you are from the inside to the outside. And your behavior is a demonstration of what you believe to be true about you. Know who you are when somebody calls you out your name in your face. Get serious. Life is serious. We call it life or death. Somebody asked me one time if I had a good description of life. I said, yes, I think I've got a good one. Life is the struggle to keep death at a respectable distance. Right? Death seems to want to move in prematurely, prematurely. If you want to live a good, long, flourishing life, you've got to push back. You can't just give in. You've got to push back. And we're dealing with some serious matters here. So we can't just, you know, tell the latest 10 jokes and just go home. We're not here to entertain. We're here to instruct. We're here to grow. We're here to learn. We're here to get the best we possibly can. Serious. Life is serious. The future is serious. One ancient novelist said, these are the best of times and these are the worst of times. And for some of those who came across this platform at the extravaganza, million dollar a year incomes, for them it's the best of times. But I want you to know that while they're getting the diamonds and the millions, there are a lot of people around the world, for them it is the worst of times. The best of times and the worst of times. That's called serious matter. How come such a difference from those who can reach such incredible heights and those who haven't yet found the answers for their life and their health and their future? We just have to ponder that and let that give us a note of seriousness. A note of seriousness. It's serious whether you win or lose. It's serious whether you succeed or fail. It's serious whether you've got a good future carved out for yourself or you do not have. These are serious matters. Matters of the heart are serious. Matters of income are serious. Matters of supporting your family, serious. At the, that's what these journals are for. That's what pad and pencil's for. That's what taking notes is for. See if you can't increase your ability to comprehend 
ideas, information that can be life transforming. Don't miss the opportunity to learn. Take a good key phrase home, use it in your training. Don't be lazy in learning. Don't be casual in learning. Develop a whole new intensity for the 90s that you're not gonna miss the information. You're not gonna miss the stories. You're not gonna miss the details. Get smart. Here's a couple of parts to it. Number one, your own personal experience, right? If you've had a bad week, just sit down and ponder that for a while. Study it. See if you can't pick up some ideas from a poor week and then make a better week, okay? Learn from your own experiences. One way to learn to do it right is do it wrong. I mean, you know, that's one way to learn to do it right. Do it wrong. Now the key is don't let it take too long. If you've done it wrong for a year, we suggest that's long enough. You don't need another year just to prove a point. No, one year's enough. Learn from your own experience, right? So the call didn't go well, all the stuff. Guess what they did when they finished that call? They made another call. What else could we do to make it better? How could we possibly improve? This is called the possibility for life change starts with education. Don't be lazy in learning. Don't be lazy in picking up the ideas. Don't be lazy in learning from your own experience. That's why you've heard from some people that have shared their testimonial here and given you some of their ideas, ways and means of taking this product to the marketplace, making it work for you. We've devoted most of our time for that and well, we should. Learning is the beginning of wealth. Learning is the beginning of life change. Some people want to start with motivation, but you don't start with motivation. You can tell we don't, you know, we don't spend that much time on motivation. And we're here, enough motivation, certainly. But here's the best motivation we've got going. The proof of our success. When we bring our success stories to this platform, that's enough motivation. When we bring our dedication and let it show, we let the work of our hands show that's the motivation we want, right? Not just excitement, just excitement alone won't do it. Somebody says, just motivate this guy, he'll be all right. The answer is no, probably not. If a guy's an idiot, you motivate him, now you got a motivated idiot. So education, get smart, don't miss the training class. You say, well, I've already been to one of those classes. I've already heard it. I've got a good phrase for you to take home. That's no sign you got it. Just because you've listened to those millionaire tapes one time, it's no sign you've got it. I'm asking you to listen to them over and over and over. I'm asking you to dedicate yourself to a new level of learning. When I travel with Mark Hughes, he's got his book open. He's got a book open, he's reading, he's studying. Lives of successful people, lives of despicable people. You know, study, learn, grow, change, develop. Never let it be said you didn't learn. Right? If you want to solve your problems, you got to learn. If you want to take advantage of an opportunity, you got to learn. Get smart. Develop your own personal philosophy here. Philosophy, major determining factor in how your life works out. Each person's philosophy is like the set of the sail. The same wind blows on us all. The difference in where we arrive at the end of the week, at the end of the month, at the end of the year is not the wind that blows. And the wind is blowing around the world. The world is in solution. Things are a changing. The walls have come down. All kinds of things are happening. In Russia tonight, today, the winds are blowing. But what's gonna make the major difference? Each person's personal philosophy that sets a better sail, sets a better sail. So don't ask for a more favorable wind. That's like wishing something that's not gonna occur. Don't ask for better seed and soil. All you got's what's available. Don't curse what you got. On this planet, all we got is the seed that's here, the soil that's here, the miracle of life that's here, the opportunity that's here, the seasons that are here, that's all we got. Wherever you've come from in your country, the economy you got, that's all you got. In America, our economy, that's all we got. The government, that's all we got. The marketplace, that's all we got. Whatever you do, don't criticize all you got. The key is to set a better sail and turn what you've got into the miracle of your, of your future. Don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better. Don't wish for less problems. Wish for more skills.